someone had the question, do you actually lose nutrients when you freeze vegetables? And the answer is no, you don't. But some of the vegetables that you're freezing, you have to blanch, okay? Which means you're taking a vegetable and you're putting it in boiling water for one to three minutes. And then you're gonna put it into ice cold water and then you're gonna put it in a bag, maybe chop it up and put it in the freezer at zero degrees Fahrenheit. And that blanching process, depending on how long you blanch it, um, you're gonna reduce certain nutrients. So uh, on average, you'll reduce vitamin C by 25%, folate by 35%, and B1 by 10%. Now the purpose of blanching is to destroy some of the enzymes, just some of the enzymes, so when you freeze it, it will last longer in the freezer because enzymes are heat sensitive. Now I put a link down below for more specifics on this, but if you were gonna blanch asparagus, for example, you would put it in boiling water for two minutes. Green beans, three minutes. Broccoli, three minutes. Brussels sprouts, three minutes. Cabbage, one minute. Carrot, two minutes. Cauliflower, three minutes. Eggplant, four minutes. Squash, three minutes. Now, of course, you don't have to blanch kale or berries or green peppers or tomatoes. You can just chop them up, put them in the freezer, and they will last for at least six months. Now, what I like to do is I like to take kale and freeze it because I use it in different shakes. I will mix the kale with the berries and water and make a nice little shake. Uh, because if you just buy kale and keep it in your refrigerator, it can go bad pretty quick. And because you're losing some of the nutrients when you're blanching, I recommend half of your vegetables being raw and the other half can be cooked or slightly cooked. The best way to do it is to saute vegetables. The next best thing is to steam them. All right, thanks for watching. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications.